What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Laravel 4 on Windows. Um, I'm using Windows 8 right here and I'm using the XAMPP server bundle. But I've also installed this on WAMP and the process is really similar. Uh, so let's get started. So um, the first thing you need is you need PHP 5.37 or higher. Uh, recent versions of WAMP and XAMPP are going to have this. Um, so you're going to be covered there. And you're also going to need the MCRIP module. Um, enabled in your php.ini. Um, that's also going to be set by default um, with these two different server bundles. And one thing that might not be set by default is OpenSSL needs to be enabled in your php.ini. So all you have to do for that is go over to your php.ini file and um, so you're going to find that in your, uh, let's see here, we'll, we'll go over to our, um, yeah, our XAMPP folder and then php and then php.ini. Now I know in WAMP it has like two or three different php.ini files um, so just make sure you're editing the right one. So in our php.ini file um, you're just going to search for OpenSSL and then remove the semicolon in front of it and save that file and then restart Apache and then that should be uh, good to go there. Um, next step is we are going to install Composer so go over to your web browser and go to getcomposer.org uh, slash download and then uh, scroll down to the Windows installer and then just click this right here, um, composersetup.exe. When you're installing um, composersetup.exe, um, it's going to complain if you don't have OpenSSL um, enabled. So um, if you do get that message, just um, you know check your php.ini file again, uh, restart Apache, and make sure that that's taking effect. And then Composer is going to install uh, no problem. It's going to add Composer to your path. And then when we're using our command prompt, we're going to be able to run Composer commands, uh, which is what we're going to use to install Laravel. The next thing you need to make sure is that your httpd.conf file is including the httpd uh, vhost.conf file because we're going to use this to create our virtual hosts um, in just a minute here. So go over to um, your Apache folder. Um, XAMPP and WAMP should be the same thing. And then go into your Apache folder. And then we are going to go into comp folder here. And then http.conf. Um, have that open already here. And you're just going to search for a vhost right here. And make sure you remove the pound sign in front of it. Um, so that is not commented out. And you might want to restart Apache um, after this as well, just to be safe. After that's done, we can get to the fun part, which is um, installing Laravel. So um, I actually have this installed already. Um, you'll see here, uh, yeah, I have Laravel.dev. So Laravel is set up here. And I also have my virtual host working. So um, I've just created another folder here. Um, let's go over to my uh, htdocs folder here. So a new um, empty folder here, nothing inside it. That's Laravel test 2. Um, you can see the one I've already done. It has the Laravel folder here and um, also the vendor folder. So let's go back over to that new one. And then I'm going to open up my git bash here. Um, you could use other command prompts, but I like this one because you can type um, you know, Unix style commands into it. So just check where we are right here in the C directory. And I'm going to cd over to xamp htdocs. Oopsie, cd. Uh, we don't need that slash xamp htdocs. Take a look in there. And we're going to cd into uh, Laravel test 2. So you're going to go into um, where you want this installed. And this is where I want to install this one. Um, the next step, go over to Laravel's website. And um, I'm on the uh, installation page right here. And just copy this line right here, um, Composer Create Project Laravel slash Laravel. And I'm going to copy that and go over to my git bash. And then just click in the top left here and edit and then paste. And um, in my case, um, I'm on a really slow connection right here. So I'm going to add a flag, which is preferred dist. And this is going to, um, I believe this is going to download a zip version. And so it's just going to be a smaller download. Because if you're on a slow connection, um, Composer is going to time out after 300 seconds. So if you're on a fast connection, you don't need to worry about this. Um, you can just leave it off. But 
Um, in my case, I'm going to add this flag right here. Um, so just put that in there and push enter. And after a couple of seconds, um, this is going to start, um, you know, downloading all of the dependencies that you need. And we can see it starting here. And I'm just going to pause this video um, while this finishes. So that's finished now. Um, we should be able to see our site. Um, it's actually, it's not going to work on mine, but localhost, I have it right here. Um, this will probably work on yours if you don't have um, virtual host going like I do right now. You should be able to see um, Laravel here. Um, in my case, I think this isn't working because I've already set up a uh, virtual host before. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, rewrite this. I'm going to show you how um, you can get it like I have here, laravel.dev. So what we're going to do now is going to create the virtual host here um, so you can get the so-called sexy URL and you're not accessing your site um, in a folder here. Uh, we're going to create a virtual host for that. So uh, just go back over to my list right here. And um, the next thing we need to do is edit our uh, HTTP vhost comp file. So um, we're going to go over to our Apache folder. And then we we're in the comp folder before. And now we're going to go into extra. And we are going to edit this httpd uh, vhost.com. So I'm going to edit that. And then you're going to go down to the bottom here. And I've actually, I've already created this. Um, we have, this is the one I'm, I'm using before. Um, the server name is laravel.dev. We saw that working already. And the document root is um, cxamp, htdocs, laravel test, or, you know, however you set up um, your Laravel where you put it. You're going to want to put the document root there and then the server name that you want to use. And on Windows systems, there's another step here, which is we're going to need to edit our host file. And the host file, um, let's see if I can, if I have that open here. Um, anyways, for the host file, we're going to go into our C drive and then we're going to go C backslash Windows. And then from Windows, you're going to go down to um, System32, and then Drivers, and then to the Etsy folder. And you're going to see this folder called Hosts. Now, I happen to know on Windows XP, um, you're not going to have any problems editing this file as an administrator. But with Windows 8, even if you're logged on as administrator, um, you're going to get a weird message when you try to edit this. And I'll show you that. So I'm just going to try and make a change to this. Just change this one to, um, well, let's add, a, let's add a new line here. We'll do a new, um, a new host here, Laravel2.dev, and save it. And we're going to get this message. Please check if this file is opened in another program. Now, this was actually really difficult for me to fix. Um, I wasn't able to find out um, what program was using this. And it's actually a really annoying thing because I am logged in as administrator. And the way that I was finally able to edit this file was I needed to restart my computer in safe mode. And then when I was in safe mode with no network connections, um, then I was able to edit this file. And then I you know, restarted the computer regularly. And then the file was changed. And on top of that, um, it's not even that easy to um, you know, start Windows 8 in safe mode. Um, but I can tell you um, how to do that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to change this here. Um, but if you go over to your Metro screen and you just type in safe mode and then go to settings, um, you'll have this advanced startup options. And then from advanced startup options, um, you'll go to general and then click advanced startup here. And then you'll follow a couple more steps um, in order to start the computer in safe mode. And then you'll be able to edit that file. So um, pretty annoying, but it is one way to get that file edited and you can see that um, it did work for me. I was able to get this um, Laravel.dev working. Um, so I think basically that's all of the steps you need to take in order to get um, Laravel working on Windows. And um, if you have any problems, just uh, post in the comments.